All right, guys. So I realized that the irony of my sign that I made says that we're going to peel tape, and we didn't bother to tape this. The irony has not escaped me on that, and I realized it after we started this. But I think it came out great. Now, this is a very bit bitmappy, very sketchy um, part of the logo. But the rest of it came out great. So we're going to put some oil on this and we'll put a picture up over there for you. But it came out great. There's not a lot of smoking. I don't think I need to really sand it to take the smoking off. It's just a little bit around the words. And I think once we put oil on it, it's not going to make a difference. Came out perfect. So this frame has a lip on it. So we took our calipers. And we measured from the lip down, and then we measured from the lip or the top of the frame down to the bottom of the glow forge to take our measurements. If you want, I can explain that better, but honestly, it took two of us and quite a few minutes to do the math and make sure we didn't mess it up. But the biggest challenge for this was getting the measurement from the surface which is a recess around the frame. So, if you guys want, I've seen a lot of people on Facebook talking about buying a CNC machine. My little shape Oku, there's a video down below how I made the frame, laid it out, cut it. It came out pretty well, guys, I gotta say. So, shape Oku and uh, Glowforge mixed together make some really cool projects. All right. And the next thing you guys are going to see is me on the computer and then the project running in the laser. Yes, I do all my videos backwards. I'm dyslexic. You'll get used to it eventually. So, remember guys, like, subscribe, so we can do more of these fun videos for you. If you like the idea of doing a CNC frame, leave me some comments down below and we'll do some more CNC frames. I do have one more project coming up for my aunt who just got a new puppy. So that video should be coming out here in the next week or two if I can stop breaking bits on my CNC machine while I'm carving the project. Yeah, there might be a fail video coming out for the CNC machine this week. Alright guys, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Alright guys, this is take two. Unfortunately, you're going to lose all the funny banter between Mom and I as I'm setting up to do this and she didn't realize the cameras were on yet. Um, we're going to do this without tape on it. It's hardwood cherry, so we can easily sand off any smoking. And I was afraid if I put tape down, I would have a hard time lining up on this. And I forgot to put the tape on before I put it in the laser. So, multi-purpose forgetting and difficulty with lining up once you put tape on something that's just cattywankus on the inside. Um... We had to scrape the Glowforge logo because we couldn't find it anywhere that we liked it. And I had to just make up some settings here. Turns out that we are only 0 0.1, 0 0.01 millimeters above the 0 for the, the bed. So I really don't know how well it's going to focus. I'm going to ignore the box that we use for lining up. So, if you can see, we have the box, the logo, and the words. So it's going to be two engraves, and we're going to ignore the box. And someone's been playing with the size of our windows here. There we go. We're getting closer. Alrighty, and we're going to hit print and see how long this takes. So guys, while I'm waiting here, and we're, you know, we're waiting for the, um, <laughs> the processing here, how many of you guys are signing up for the fast lane for taking that trial on the software to have stuff go faster? Because I got to tell you, having my processing time reduced would be kind of nice sometimes. Running this as a business, one of my, one of the biggest holdups I have sometimes is waiting three to five minutes for it to process and get my projects through. What are your guys' thoughts? 
I think at $50, heck no. But I think at $15, I might do it. All right, it's going to be 18 minutes, 6 seconds. Let's cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't move too much with the wind flowing in the laser. And let's see how it comes out, guys.